Yeah. 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 This environment, and we do this in an architectural and design part, but we also do this in a cultural and organizational. So we are in an integrated consultor. And uh, what I would like to, to share with you now is uh, what, what, what we have learned in our project. We did a lot of projects and uh, uh, this experience I would like to share with you. Uh, yeah, Blanca, next please. Yeah. So uh, what we have learned next in our project, uh, at the beginning we always speak with our clients about success. Uh, so what are the main fig figures uh, they want to reach? Uh, uh, what, what is the what is the revenue? What impact? Or, or what, how can we contribute uh, to this success? But uh, there is another question next: uh, What is behind the success, or what is the impact of our work? Uh, what, what 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 is the impact? What what are the effects of our work? Or what do what do companies achieve uh, with their clients, or with their employees, or with the society? And next, after impact, uh, we speak uh, with our clients about systems. What I mean is the organizations. In which organizations do they do they live? For what, what 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 kind of leadership do do they practice? Uh, how do they organize their processes? Are they lean, uh, remote leadership? Uh, for example, this is this this became very important uh, right now. And after we have discussed about systems, uh, next uh, we discuss about the idea of man. So uh, what I mean is, uh, w w what are employees for? Uh, are, are they just uh, are they uh, are they a factor of, of of cost or are they a factor of of of, of human being of, of of potential and so on? And after we spoke about the idea of man, um, we, we want to go very deep in values. And, and, and Laura also mentioned it, uh, the, the result uh, of all our work uh, is based on values. So what are the values uh, that companies, uh, that, that for the companies are most important? We must know this uh, because uh, for me, I always say that what we do in our projects is that we, that we create values in buildings. So, so uh, we did an, a great number of projects for banks, for insurances, for pharma companies, IT companies, for the public sector, and so on. Next, Blanca. Uh, and uh, then next, uh, uh, I would like to show you a model that we developed. This model is based on on a, on a, on a, on the theory of Mr. Ken Wilber. It's it's called a spiral, spiral dynamic theory, and it's also based on the on on uh, Frederic Laloux, who wrote a book called Remaking Organizations. One of the most most um, interesting and uh, most for me most modern books about organizational design, mm -hmm. and this model uh, shows uh, how we work and what we have learned from our clients, and, and, and shows you the experiences that we made during the last uh, 25 years. So next, when we start, uh, you, you see here uh, a model of two columns and, and two rows. So uh, the, the right column shows you the outside part, uh, that means that is visible, that is uh, that uh, that is touchable. Huh? Uh, the left column is is the inside part. It's not visible. It's not uh, touchable. And there are two rows: the individual and the collective row. So the the collective is the organizational role that means organizational common um, and individual is, is, is just for man. And when we start our projects um, uh, on the right side and the right color, we start from outside and next uh, we speak uh, about uh, working environment, about offices, about buildings, architecture, about technology, IT, about organizations and structures. But when we speak about uh, all these uh, uh, all these issues, uh, we must know another uh, 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 additional things. Uh, so next, uh, next, next, uh, and then we come to to the inside part. And next, uh, when we when we talk about the inside part, we must know something about culture. We must know something about common values and common attitudes in companies and organizations, and how they cooperate, how they communicate, and how they collaborate. And if we know and we have learned something about culture. Uh, then we have another part, next, next, Blanca, and this is, uh, we have to talk about uh, behavior. What, what is uh, the individual behavior of people? Uh, how do they communicate? Uh, what age, what experience do they have? How do they perform? Uh, uh, what are their personal belongings? How about of their empathy and so on? And all these things, next, next, are based uh, in, on the individual part and inside on personal values, on identity, on attitude, on their personal focus, and personal goals, and, and self-worth. And uh, what, what I would like to, 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 what is very important for me to give you 
uh, this uh, impression at the beginning because uh, that's that's what it, what it what is very important. You must always uh, focus this system. Huh? You can't uh, develop office environment and office buildings without knowing uh, something about culture and, and personal values. And uh, I think uh, that, that's what I wanted to share with you at the beginning. And uh, yeah, let's go on. Thank you. Please just me. Okay, also from my side, um, a good afternoon. For me, it's a big pleasure to have the possibility to speak here on the Malaysian Urban Forum. So my name is Yasmin Soravia. I'm a well-known project developer in Vienna and at the same time, the national chair and woman of the Urban Land Institute in Austria, it's in short, the ULI. Perhaps some of you know it, the ULI is the most renowned nonprofit research and educational institution worldwide and one of the most active networks in the real estate industry um, all over the world. It's founded in 1936. The ULI is a multidisciplinary real estate forum, a global, global think tank for rising and discussing the future development potential of our cities. And um, together with leading figures from the business, science, politics, and public administration. In doing so, it's not only shapes the real estate industry, but also assumes social responsibility. It's intent to facilitate the exchange of new ideas, information, and experience between the private real estate industry and the public sector. The ULI deals with questions of um, urbanization, revitalization, land use, capital markets, and sustainable developments. It's a global network of local actors who address current and future challenges. Next, please, Bianca. Okay. Um, the ULI pursues a mission. Uh, no, one before. <laughs> a mission. Um, it pursues an open and constructive dialogue to make cities fit for the future. It pursues the common goal of constantly developing our urban space through intelligent projects and district development and state-of-the-art future de technologies, thus improving the quality of life for people. It offers a neutral platform for the constructive exchange of experience between the private real estate um, industry and the public sector. The next, please. Um, like um, um, the Dr. Otto, that's the former ULI chairman, said, ULI members come from many different backgrounds. We all share a common goal to make cities better places to live for people from all walks of life. Next, please. Um, the, the, the ULI is, is, a, is worldwide and has more than 45,000 members in more than 80 countries. Across Asia Pacific, the Institute has more than 2,500 members with a particular strong presence in China mainland, like Beijing and Shanghai. They are also in Hong Kong, Japan, Singapore, and so on. There's a great cooperation over the whole network. As a member, you can easily get in contact with other ULI members worldwide, especially in these global times. I think it's a good cooperation. The strong network is very, very important exchange of new ideas can help with challenges that would be difficult to solve independently. The ULI shares its knowledge through various discussion forums, research, publications, and electronic media. At the heart of the ULI, there is the advisory service panel. These are ULI and consulting programs and are commissioned by cities. An independent team of experts consisting of ULI volunteers members deals with topics that affect a city and are commissioned by a city over a certain period of time. Furthermore, there the ULI has also a very outstanding educational initiative for high school students, the so-called urban plan. This is a highly professional business game in which students are introduced to the complexity um, of neighborhood development and thus they deliver diversity of the real estate industry and urban development in a very playful way. The next one. Um, in Europe, um, the ULI is over 14 countries with more than, I think, 3,700 members throughout um, Europe. 
In Europe, uh, there are currently eight product councils. These are specialist working groups which deal with various topics related to sustainable early urban development, like how will our cities become a pioneer in terms of digitalization or take the step to sustainability in terms like of mobility and so on. Ms. Laura Spinatl is also one of our ULI members and her program Urban Manus fits, I think, perfectly to the ULI philosophy and it's an indispensable program in the real estate industry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Jasmine. Alexander, please. Uh, my name is Alexander Bozak. I'm also a member of the Urban Land Institute uh, since uh, about 15 years, I guess. I always was also impressed of the uh, multidisciplinary teams who are working together to build a better uh, building environment for people. Um, and one of my missions is always to provide uh, for the urban planning and also for the developers for the projects good data. So I'm. I have a, a, a developer database in Vienna in Austria and um, the next slide please uh, we, we uh, and I'm in the industry for 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 research market research for about 25 years and I also teach it on several universities and my, and my, uh, my, my mission is always uh, to collect as many data to make at least uh, uh, mistakes. Uh, as possible and and to make the best the best product possible. Um, uh, this means uh, we we so in our in our company we collect uh, geocoded relevant data of and for developer projects from about uh, thirty sources. We have a lot of manpower. Uh, we are currently about fifteen people who are doing nothing else than collect data. And as everybody knows. Real estate is is uh, it, it, it very it's, it's all about location, location, location. So uh, and 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 you spend a lot of money. So yes, it's, uh, it's very important um, to 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 provide our clients with good data, not only about the market and and the, and and the, and the site location. But also, what also Andreas uh, told you before, it's also important to know who are the target groups who will live there, uh, either if they are from uh, either office buildings or residential buildings. You have to know the people, their culture, what they expect from from the product uh, to feel well there and to live there. Um, and we also analyze, of course, successful projects, unsuccessful projects. Uh, and and we go down uh, to district level, even to quarters level, and to the project level. Um, in in general, as I told you before, it should be always the aim to provide as much data for the industry and players as possible in order to make the intransparent real estate market, uh, which is not like a fast-moving consumer good like mineral water, which is very easily to to uh, to produce and to deliver. Here you have always a lot of, of uh, each each real estate is somehow uh, is unique, so you have to make as much, to collect as much as uh, possible data to make the intransparent real estate market and the ask non acts ask projects as transparent as possible. The next uh, slide, please. So uh, we are also uh, just for an example. We also uh, uh, analyze uh, the, the reasons of success okay, for well, each well, project well, and well, even well. the selling speed of each flat. So the developers can learn from each other successes, also which materials are used, how was, how uh, uh, successful floor plan, plans uh, designed, what sustainable features are included in in in, in, in the building in the, in the project, and you will also see if you look closely to a project and it's not working well to the failures. The next slide, please. So. Uh, what uh, what is what is also uh, what is important uh, that if you want to to uh, to to do uh, successful planning, it should be an integral planning, and this only works with uh, as a, with the basis of a wide range of good quality data, and of course, with also to include the knowledge of as much stakeholders as impossible uh, as possible. This means you should also spot. The trends in the future. You should also look at the material which is used, 
how sustainable it is or not. You, it's very important also what Andreas told before, you really have to, look, uh, to focus also on the user comfort, on the social economic environment. You also should, of course, uh, be, uh, uh, think about the climate targets. Uh, and this is all, so this is all above uh, and together with the target groups and the market analysis and with the business strategy and the location analysis. <laughs> you are able to, to fulfill or to make an integral planning, uh, which an, uh, uh, the integral planning which needs a relevant selected data. And why, as every site, every project is unique, it is important to use the knowledge of research as a starting point for integral planning. Thank you. Thank you, Alexander. Petra, please. Uh, Petra, we, we, are we can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> That's correct. Thank you, Petra. <laughs> uh, um, to everybody, I'm glad to be back in Malaysia. I've been there some 20 years ago, which is quite a long time. Um, I'm here to contribute to this uh, presentation and to this information session. Um, we are tightly um, cooperating uh, with, with Lava in the Urban Menus project, so we're really working uh, for the tool and for the instrument and for the, for the whole innovation project. Um, and what I want to present you <laughs> is something which goes already beyond so the next step of the Urban Menus uh, program. Uh, that's the smart city platform that is um, uh, that we, we intend to build on the urban platform. Um, now why? May, maybe just to uh, to to add why I'm contributing. So first, uh, it's about the innovation and about innovation financing. This is what we support with my company. I uh, founded 20 years ago uh, together with a colleague. So we are dedicated to innovation projects, uh, to financing of innovation projects, and to support the implementation, especially if it's in sustainable innovation. Uh, so we are providing services in IT and uh, sustainability assessment. And this is also what is our part in the Urban Menus uh, project. All these aspects uh, somehow are contributing to the, to the success in the <laughs> Good. So, um, beyond the urban menus uh, platform, we have a kind of joint vision, so we'll talk about that uh, later. Um, <clears throat> there is the idea that a smart, uh, setting up smart city projects uh, needs a lot, so it requires a lot of uh, efforts of people. This is what you see on the on the right here. So, Differences uh, are already mentioned that it's always about some cooperation and that we have to find new forms of cooperations. Uh, so this is component of the city project. Uh, then of course there is about concrete projects. So this is what we have in the middle. Uh, we have already been talking about impact, or whatever you want to name it, uh, KPIs or uh, wh whoever is speaking uh, will name it differently, but uh, in the end it's always about impact. You see the five uh, dimensions of impact that we have identified uh, uh, as a holistic uh, set of impact dimensions for the Urban Menus platform and so also for the future Smart City platform. It's uh, happiness, safety, innovation, profitability, or so the cost uh, monetary uh, dimension, and circularity uh, we have um, identified as maybe the future, uh, future name of sustainability, because uh, if we uh, are able to frame it all in circular forms, then, then it will be sustainable also. So I think circularity is, uh, yeah, maybe a better word to it. Um, and then here on the, on the left side, we have uh, smart city providers. Uh, it can be about technologies, it can be about building, architecture, it can, it can also be services uh, for the process or for, for running smart city projects. So this is a special 
um, group of, of stakeholders, maybe. They do not uh, own wide uh, knowledge and expertise, but also really hands-on uh, yeah, things, idea. so products, oh. for instance. And that uh, could be useful for a concrete smart city project. And this is why we have this idea of a smart city platform that brings all this together. So uh, we want to enable the cooperation of new smart city technologies services right into the urban menus instrument so that if you are working on your project, so if you are generating your common vision, you will also be suggested uh, new technologies or products that have been integrated into this platform. And uh, on the next slide, we can have a more detailed look how this can work. Uh, so in oh. is that, uh, we have some onboarding kind of information process. So smart city technology services providers can present uh, what they have, uh, but they do not only present it in a form uh, that we will develop first catalogs of, of goods and marketplaces, uh, but they will give uh, up objects and uh, they, they will be asked um, very special information about these five impact dimensions that we have identified and our algorithm then kind of um, combine all the information and come up uh, with, a, with a sustainability and holistic urban menus uh, impact assessment. And this uh, will this be part of the decision process if, if these products and services can be part of the um, assessment that has then already be done for these products will then also be uh, used in, in the urban manual platform if you use it for concrete purposes and for concrete projects. So this is how this all would come together and so it's uh, so you're not alone if you use urban menus uh, you're not only dealing with your ideas and contributing what you have in mind but there will be already <laughs> some <laughs> elements, uh, that might be interesting for <laughs> projects and this is <laughs> the only, uh, kind of intent to make for um, smart projects we <laughs> go <laughs> with the origin of the ideas that I want to present. Um, please, uh, Bianca. Uh, and this is the campus for the New University of Economy and Business in Vienna. This is the place where wow. a group of people decide to create um, the spaces are to reinvent the relationship between economy and society, to rethink economy and to have a new pos position in the world. And uh, go on, they decide that they have to resolve it with architecture. Architecture must be the first step. My um work hmm? um you have problem with the sound i can hear you very good okay um my work in this project uh, have eight levels but the most important levels was to be the person that connect different interests, different position, different stakeholders to arrive to one solution. I have the vision and I decide to bring in a very, very inclusive way all the people together. Next. That means one of, uh, go on, Bianca, one of the first step was to invent the configurator to give no architect the possibility to know what they are designed. Because one of the biggest problems that I have with architecture is next, that a lot of men in a jury, um, sometimes, uh, some woman 
um, the sides, um, but they cannot read plan. 50% of these people cannot understand what they are deciding. Uh, that means they need um, a transcription, a new language, like the configurators. Next one. The project uh, was um, a little city with 30,000 students and professors in the neighborhood of 100,000 people. Next. And they want to work with the best architects of the world, like Sadit on Rhine, or uh, Peter Cook in the end, or Itoshi Abe left. And uh, with the highest standards of ecology, with green building, and with the normal cost of public buildings. That means it was a big, big complex pro project to arrive to the best solution. Next. The campus is 24-7. That means this time, uh, in this very difficult time in all the world, we have a campus without uh, entrance limits, with the active interaction with the society, because I explained to you, they want to reinvent economy coming from new spaces where life could happen. And when we see these images, we see that the campus gives the possibility to different lifestyles to find their happiness and to find a place to learn about new knowledge. And how it could happen? It could happen because at the beginning, we integrate all the parameters, all the interests, all the uh, steps that sometime in the process will come. That means at the beginning, we think all these topics. Next one. For example, um, um, master plan energy was at the beginning the concept to uh, work with water and the water with the sun and the water with the uh, nature in another kind of way in a big public uh, building. Next. Or um, the topic about how to give architect the best um, rules to make the best creation, but in a sustainable social balance between equipment and commerce and academic life and cultural life day and night. Next. Or how to create an interaction between academic life and all this life with the different institutes, the different professors, the visitors, the tourists, the neighbors, or um, how the giants that uh, spend time uh, in this campus. Next one. And how I say 24-7 means day and night. And that means if you don't want Big Brother in this smart city, you have to work with another kind of values. In this case, with social control, with activities, with light temperature, with ambiente, to create places where people feel well. Next. Next. That means to be smart means to integrate all the interest of very, very different people, and the entrances to the smartness are so many that you cannot reserve it alone. You have to cooperate. All the people have to cooperate with each other to arrive to the best solution. Next one. And this was um, the origin for Upper Manners because we have to learn to inhabit in the 
the city of all in an arrogant of way. Next. In a normal process, and I'm sure in Malaysia is like that too, a little group of initiators uh, with no one involved stakeholders decide the big, big uh, vision of the future that will bring happiness and richness and successful um, for all the people. And in the time, active citizens, and then unknown involved stakeholders, perhaps the press and the society, um, ask for topics that these three initiators forgot at the beginning. And in a lot of cases, uh, it's a lose-lose project, sometimes because you don't beat anything, and sometimes because you don't resolve the problem that uh, this side could resolve. In urban process, at the beginning, very, very different point of views, very, very, very different <laughs> cosmovision, find a consensus to initiate a little project that can grow supported by <laughs> all the community. Next one. And for us, we have to begin yeah, with yeah, dreams. Yeah. We have to dream yeah, with yeah, the future. Yeah. We have not to resolve the future in yeah. one or two years. Yeah. We have to dream how a city could be in the future for our child yeah. or the child of our child. That means when the cathedral appears, mm -hmm. when the big uh, Louvre appears, somebody has a vision. And the society, we need visions. Next. Okay. This vision must have at the beginning variation in the option to resolve it, because you need some stakeholders that support the vision and other stakeholders that will help to develop the vision. Next. And Hobita told you um, to find a way to talk together. Uh, need new values. Nobody can say, I want that, in a, that the people in my fragment of city are not happy. Nobody will say that. Nobody will say, uh, I'm, I don't want secularity or I don't want to be. Um, uh, to have safety at this neighborhood. Next. That means it must be very easy to discover options of future, to discover what happened with that what I want, with this five uh, parametric um, evaluation. And next, what happened? happen uh, between the relationship between an ecosystem, uh, resource revenue, and social context. In this sense, all million of possibilities could have the relationship in qualitative, quantitative way, and in relationship to the SDGs. Uh, and in each point, you can discuss with the other people, what they feel uh, that they want as future. Next one. And now um, we will go in to other matters to present you how easy it could be to talk together with different point of views, but trying to construct the best uh, future. Please, Bianca. Yes, um, hello also from my side. So I'm going to show you Urban Menus, the tool the, that Laura just introduced in action. So it's a web-based tool. That means that each stakeholder involved in a process um, can log in um, and see possible future developments of a city district. What you see right here, it's a generic <coughs> urban setting, so it's not real. 
but we can integrate into our tool and you will see the district. Uh, so maybe yours, if uh, a project is being developed there. And for us, it's very important as a user to be able to change perspective. So uh, to be able as a user to walk through the city district or to see it from different perspectives in order to understand this space. As we are not developing tools for architects or for people involved in urban planning, but we are being inclusive and not everybody can read plans, but everybody can understand this space if they can look at it from so many perspectives. And um, as a user, I also have the possibility to change three parameters in order to visualize possible future for this um, city district. So different stakeholders have very different interests. Uh, for example, one stakeholder might want to have more green areas, more parks, more public uh, uh, areas. One stakeholder wants uh, to build very high buildings and uh, to be cost efficient. And to integrate all these visions of the stakeholder together and to make them deal, they can change uh, the parameter ecology that I'm changing right now. Um, as you see, this is um, strongly linked with um, more uh, nature. Uh, so nature has its place. It has more public transport. It has bike paths. It, uh, it has more pedestrian areas and the buildings are more ecological aligned. Then uh, another interest might be urbanity which I'm changing right now. This is um, linked to social exchange. So there are more spaces in which you can meet. There is more culture, there is more urban life. And a third parameter is density. So this uh, means a focus on profitability and on the economic use of spaces and of buildings. And the goal here is to experiment, to um, visualize different, different combinations and to find a balance between uh, the visions of all stakeholders to find a common vision where everybody involved wants to live wants to work and want to invest and want to spend their time um we can um, go through a few options so for example uh, over here if i go very high on um on ecology this would be an extreme situation but this uh, city district might develop in a way that um there is a lot of place uh, for nature there is urban gardening there is um, um a place to uh, eat or if i go very high on urbanity then there's a lot of more space uh, for public use, there are uh, cafes, there are bar, there is an art gallery. Or if I go in another extreme, uh, very high on density, then this um, might develop with uh, offices, with um, co-working spaces, with the market and with the public space, with apartment buildings. So I go uh, maybe from above to see the same space. So the the goal here is to deal to deal with the, all the different possibilities for um, development until stakeholder um, understand what uh, they are choosing and they agree uh, in order to support the project. Um, also, in order to make this process transparent, it's important for us to make the stakeholder understand the decisions that they are taking. That's why we have the analysis integrated that uh, Petra and Laura just, uh, mentioned before. So, um, there is the quantitative analysis, which shows on this spider diagram happiness, and safety, innovation, profitability and circularity. Um, shortly, oh, happiness, um, it's uh, related to well-being in everyday life. So it shows uh, in this uh, space that you just um, 
created that you just chose uh, how much social That's interaction there is, how many opportunities, opportunities for leisure activities, for so education, so there are how many opportunities for work, so there are uh, safety, <laughs> how well lit the place is, with uh, how easy can one orient themselves and how okay. varied the range of activities there are that you can uh, engage in. Innovation, it has to do with novelty, with um, discovering potential and with adapting to the future. Profitability considers the cost of the entire life cycle. Um, and circularity is the term that Petra explained uh, about <laughs> not, uh, living <laughs> not by product, so less impact of on climate change um, by the choices that you are making. <laughs> Um, the qualitative analysis shows the relationship between th these uh, three uh, parameters. So there is ecosystem, there uh, the green one, uh, there is the social context, and there are res resources and revenue. And we are also showing which of the 17 SDGs of the United Nations are uh, supported by the choices you make in this um, city district. Um, as a user, you can save different combinations, so you can compare them with uh, the developers uh, and all the stakeholders, and you can also save the different options that you might imagine that they uh, might be the future of this um, uh, of the city. Um, another point that is very important is uh, perhaps you can go to a pedestrian point of view. Um, I don't like uh, participation in the sense that all people talk, and nobody takes responsibility. Um, we developed this instrument because I think each interest is okay if a group of people decide they want uh, to have uh, pro production in the city and they need to privatize this uh, space to have aquatonic, uh, for example. But it's okay too if um, yes. to say, no, we don't want to have only green industries, we want to have public spaces with infrastructure and social interaction too. Or it's okay that um, the investor that want to develop a fragment of city, if they take the main interest position, they say, I need this square meters to build the school, because if I don't become the square meters, I cannot support the school. And when we are talking about dealing, we are talking not about to deal about uh, volumes or language or uh, secondary points. We are talking to deal about structural changes of life, of quality of life. And this is what I think is really smart city. Smart city means that a group of people decide, and I'm not talking about millions of people, I'm talking about different interests come together and resolve what is the best future to have the best business, to have the best production, to have the uh, uh, hap hap happiest children, and so on. This is uh, what we want to present you today. Mm -hmm. um, we want to present you this complexity of smart city with a lot of point of views and what kind of interaction and cooperation must be exist behind what you see uh, before you buy technology because technology cannot resolve a society that um, do not learn uh, to cooperate between different wishes, different dreams, different uh, futures.
I think the first round before we start with your question uh, is perhaps uh, that my guest um, told you um, why this kind of cooperation is so important for the different stakeholders in our time. Perhaps you can start, Alexander. Sorry, uh, what shall I start? Okay, um, as, a, as, a, as from my point of view, this is an excellent tool uh, because uh, after having provided the data, as I said, you can really set up together with all the stakeholders um, and in, uh, can build an environment uh, up to your uh, joint screens. Also, at the end of the at the end of the session, when you make it together, you create an environment which uh, hundred uh, percent is is a dream that is fulfilled by all of the stakeholders together. And uh, and I, I like it very much that you can. That is also like a, it's uh, it's. Like a play, I do not know, but it's it's it it it, 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 it in in normal situations, if, uh, if, if stakeholders sit together, uh, because nobody cannot imagine how it looks like. Uh, uh, there, are, everybody has a different view in 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 their head, in their mind. Uh, uh, but but here with this tool, you can make a try. A try at the end of the day, you can express yourself. What is your idea? And everybody can put give his input, and uh, and, and 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 I think and, uh, and and you will agree to a solution. I think much faster. Uh, and I also heard uh, from Laura that these processes are uh, much faster. The decision making is much faster than if you if you do it in in, in the conventional way. This is why I like it very very much. Uh, thank you, Alexander. Um, for me, it's not important uh, to make publicity about our proposition, how to be smart. For me, the most important thing is how we need... Um, what, what is your opinion, perhaps, Andreas? Um, if we really need new instrument to be smarter, when we build our cities, <laughs> we did not hear you. Hey. Here, this is now. I, I, yeah, so now the microphone works here. Yeah, uh, of course we need new instruments. I think, uh, as Alex already told, uh, this is so important to, to give people impressions uh, because impressions uh, say something about their expressions. <laughs> uh, the impressions express their values and, 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 and mobility and, and sustainability and, and, and so on. And it is so important uh, because uh, people uh, learn a lot of this system and a lot of these models and we need these tools. Uh, uh, to, 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 to make creations uh, uh, and uh, all of you said in uh, Laura in, in your mind uh, their pictures exist in your mind or you create pictures in your mind but it is very very difficult for other people uh, to get these pictures and to get these impressions uh, and so, so we need uh, such instruments and, uh, as, as we have a lot of other different instruments I spoke about values and about culture and we use on the other side a lot of instruments to analyze what do you want to uh, tell us, Jasmine, with your experience in very different position um, to be smart, a smarter? So I, I only can say because we are a developer and what uh, we we often have problems with um, the neighbors that they really can't imagine how the project will look like. And I think this um, tool 
is very very easy to understand and it's but perfect also to easy. show the neighbors that they don't have to do have do? fear what what will happen in a quarter um, nice. uh, so of, of a town or uh, at a special place I and i think also for the town itself it's yeah. very important um, because yesterday i had a, a big meeting with the town of mm -hmm. vienna and yeah. i think also for them this could be very interesting because for the the main role of the town is to develop a town and i think with this tool it's very easy and transparent and i think for a town this yeah, would be right. very very yeah, very important and um especially um in these times when we need all these um sustainable goals i think it's very important to show them where a green place could fit well and how this affects the mobility the traffic and therefore i think this tool is very important for each town not only vienna for each town May I make a short comment on that because uh, I was also on this meeting yesterday yeah. and I just got the idea, uh, 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 wrote a, uh, a short chat to Yasmin, maybe this would be a good idea because we talked about a place in Vienna, uh, uh, in, it, it is dominated by office buildings but there are also private buildings and, we, and I made a suggestion maybe we could sit together in one of the next meetings to discuss how should this place be changed in order that all participants feel well there. And that in, after this presentation again, I had the idea maybe we can use this tool to talk with the city and, and just play with that, that we say how could this be a nice place for work, workers and also for employees of these companies and also for people who live there. This would, for instance, for this you could really use it uh, perfectly. And this would help the city. This would definitely would help the city. Mm -hmm. Petra, what uh, do you want to say? Um, I want to say that I think um, the approach of urban menus is very valuable because it's some uh, it's something new in a phase uh, that is um, uh, not so uh, that, that has not been dedicated so much um, uh, efforts to so the, the early phase of starting a project or, or really or even before starting a project and from the from the perspective of uh, impact assessment i think uh, this is also uh, uh, the innovation here that we are doing impact assessment in a very early stage because of course later on when you are in detailed planning of for instance just one building or or a whole area of course if you have all the data from the buildings then you of course can calculate an advance yeah. and the greenhouse gas emissions and all these things uh, but here it is about uh, estimating very early what will it be i mean of course it cannot be that exact because it's uh, preliminary it's a plan we uh, have uh, rough data but i think it's uh, very important uh, already at this stage to think about these aspects and not when you have already decided what you do and then you calculate fine <laughs> that's nice if you do it but it won't change the plans but here we are in a phase where you can still change the plans and influence the plans and i think this is really very important okay dear audience um, I tried today. To invite you to dream. Um, a group of uh, people from the audience create a telegram um, group uh, to discuss. Um, forward some ideas and Lalita invite you um, to integrate you at, at uh, this telegram group and I think it's a very very good idea because it's a beginning um, you as uh, Kuala Lumpur and Malaysia have now the second big big event and I think this kind of networking now with Austria could help you for a better future. Thank you.
Tutup oh, dah. Dah. Dah masuk inkipen dah. Dah. Yang aku geram silap ni dulu dah. Tutup ayam. Dah. Tutup eh. punya udah nak habis. Aku punya aku lagi. Ya, tak, aku buat. Aku lagi 4 minit. Sikit sikit. Tolong. Nak habis ah. Nak habis. Aku tak reti. Aku takut aku tekan lagi. Macok ah. Bunuh. Macok. Ya salah. Eh, oi tak. Ya lagi. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Oi, ni macam. Dia 57 minit Jadi aku tengok tadi 54 Kau buat tengok Kau nak lah Tak gerak ni Buat je lah Sumpah Tak ada kata tak gerak Dia dah habis lalu lah Ha ni Ha OBS OBS Oh, Kenapa? habis dah, habis dah lah. Ha, habis dah. Ni, ni, ni. Kenapa? OBS tu. Tapi nama-nama pula estetik. Tu 